What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over how to reverse a doubly linked list. So this is a little, a little bit tricky. It's basically the same thing as reversing a singly linked list. So we have this list of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4 is next points to null, right? Now, after we reverse the linked list, now it's going to be 4, 3, 2, 1. So it's like all of the values here are flipped. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go over the code how you would do this. Um, it's basically the same thing, but now we have more links we have to change. So what we're going to do is we're going to recursively call this function over and over again. And um, we're just going to do some parameter uh, links changing. So the first thing you want to realize is that when we're doing this recursive call, we need to get the base case. So what is the base case? The base case is when you reach the end of the list. So if I reach the end of the list, say at four, I'm going to have to return four, right? I'm going to return itself because this four is going to become the new head, right? I want to make this four to become the new head so that four, is, when I reach the end, four is going to be the starting node and it's going to point to three and it's going to point to two and point to one. So when I reach this end of four, I want to return itself, right? Return itself. But there's also another case in which um, if I reach a null pointer, so let's say I reach this point null, then I also want to return itself because this means it's it's the end of the list. So that's why I have that here also. So if the head is equal to null or the head's next is equal to null, we return head because that means we return null. And uh, it also means we return the uh, current, yeah, we just return null. Okay, now this part is a little difficult to understand. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recursively call this method reverse over and over again, passing in the next node, passing in the next node. Now, let's think about this. If I'm recursively calling this over and over again, and I want to change my new head to ch instead point to, instead of having it starting at one, I want to start at four now. So what would I do? Well, simple. When I reach the end of this node of four, I want to return it. Right? I want to return this four. So then this four is now our new node. So that's why in this part of the code at the end, this current, I should rename current to new new head. Yeah. This uh, new head that we call reverse over and over again, we're going to return this new head. So now this new head is now our new starting value of our node after calling recursively call again. Now this part of the le uh, link changing is a little difficult to understand, but I'll try to explain it to you. Let's say we have the list of this list one, two, three, four. Okay. And um, let's say we're cursively calling it over and over again. And then we reach this point of the last two values of three pointing to four and four is previous pointing to three, right? Now I want to change this so that in the end I get like, what I want to get is I want to get four to point to three and three is previous to point to four, right? So I want to get to this this configuration because that's the values are reversed, right? So what I do here is that currently the head is three. So th what I said is three's previous is now going to point to uh, three's next. So head is currently three. So what I'm saying here is that this three's previous value here, right? This previous value right before it was like two. Now this previous value is going to point to three's next, which is going to be four. This previous value is going to point to four. Um, yeah, I'll do it this way. It'll point to four, okay? Let's assume this four is the same as this four, which it is in memory, but I'm, I'm going to show you like the same duplicate, duplicate fours for now to make it sure you guys understand what's going on. So three's previous is going to point to three's next, which is four. See, it's going to point to four. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set three's next, next is going to point to three. So what does this mean? This means three's next is four, right? Three's next is four. And I want to set four's next to point to three. So what this is doing is it's going to set three's next, next, which is going to be four. Four's next is going to point to itself, which is three. So that's what I do here, right? Head right now is pointing to three. So head is three currently, so uh, three's next, next is four, and we're gonna set this to next to point to three. 
So this means that four is next. So three is next is four. This four is next. So let's get rid of this. This four is gonna actually point to three, right? And then, um, yeah, that's what this line is. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set three's next previous. So this three's next, this four is a uh, previous, we're gonna set to null pointer. So three's next is four. So four's previous is gonna now point to null, right? So then this is gone. And then we're gonna set three's next is gonna point to null. So then this three is gonna now be gone. This three's next is gonna point to null. And then our final configuration is this. We have four is gonna point to three and three's previous is gonna point to four. So that's what the link changing does, okay? That's basically the gist of how this is uh, turning out. And uh, yeah, it's a little smiley face here also, <laughs> if you look at it. But yeah, that's basically the gist of how reversing a link list is like. And in the end, we just return our new head. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.